So here's my Mach 3 control panel I made with the Shopomatic brand name logo I kind of threw on there, just something I came up with. Um, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and start turning on, let it boot up so you can see. Um, here's the main switch. You turn this on, it's going to flip a 30 amp relay that's going to turn on all the main power. You'll probably hear it all kick on, and this is like the PC power. Um, it's supposed to be a momentary switch, I haven't got that yet. It's being ordered. But that's booting up the PC and everything you can see down here. Um, the first one's the PC, the second one, uh, PC computer box there holds all of the electronics, motors, motor controls, power inverters, all that for the CNC machine and then the other box in front of it there. That's actually uh, the PC itself. Uh, but then the screen runs up to uh, this little control panel. It's, uh, it's like a little 10 inch screen running from the PC um, along with the keyboard and all these other functions, uh, functioning buttons for Mach 3. <clears throat> How I did this, a lot of people asked me if I added a second parallel port. I did not. Um, you can use an IPAC. I don't, I can't remember right off the Ultimark, I believe, is who makes it. Um, what it is, it's made for MAME arcades to add buttons and stuff for MAME arcades. And as you can see, all these actually look like arcade buttons. That's because they are. I had these laying around. Um, anyways, what the IPAC will do is it's basically a keyboard encoder, and it tells the computer that these, all these buttons are basically keyboard commands, even though they're normal buttons on this panel, which gives you the ability to basically mimic an industrialized panel, but it's running off Mach 3. So let me show you here real quick, as you can see it booted up right in the Mach 3. Um, you have this reset button, and it's going to reset it, as you can see, and then you can move around with these joysticks. Along with your Z. Um, you can also zero here, which will zero each axis. So if you move it around, and then push the go to zero button, as you can see me doing here, it'll all move along itself. Um, you can start, do a start cycle, your feed hold, feed stop, reset. Your, you can change your feed rate up and down. Um, and also these switches here are running a couple other, what's it called, relays. Um, you have your router here, turn that on. And also the vacuum. Uh, the vacuum is right now is connected to a shop vac. Um, but that will actually be connected to a dust collector I'm going to be picking up here in a couple of days. Uh, that'll hook up tubing to the router to you know pick up all the dust. And uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Now you can look at all the pictures on my website and uh, how I made it. There's some, also some shots of the inside of this. Um, another thing is this keyboard too. I got it's a nice industrialized keyboard, all rubber, um, dust dust resistant, water resistant. All it's all sealed along with like a mouse here. Just kind of a cool little all-in-one unit. I'm not even put on a swivel, so if I want to move it to wherever I'm working, I can. Uh, great unit. Uh, next thing I need to get is just a little a pennant to have along with it, um, and we'll be ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed it.